What's up you guys, I'm Penguin and welcome back to Nighthood. In today's video, I bring you a guide for Mirafan and White Peak, trying to get you guys a little bit of an edge when entering both of these areas. Uh, starting off right over here, let's go ahead and see what heroes you should be focusing on once you enter Mirafan. What heroes you should be looking out for the moment that you open up their hunts. So as you can see right here, we see that we have all of the heroes for Mirafan uh, available. And there's not going to be very many heroes that you want to go ahead and focus on. Lots of great heroes, but the ones that you definitely want to focus on is going to be um, right here in Oswash. It's going to be Tara. She is going to be also giving you some uh, Tellurian ingots, which are going to be very useful once you go ahead and reach this hunt. Uh, she is a troll, uh, strong versus troll hero. And once you get her up to level 30 or so, she's going to be very, very useful. Um, for the last part of White Peaks, she's not going to help you here in Marathon, but in White Peaks, she's going to be uh, a must uh, unless you end up getting uh, the hero Lanasa from one of the hero chests or anything like that. Um, Tara is going to be your your better choice. So it's going to be Lanasa first choice and Tara second choice. Tara simply is the best hero that you're going to have uh, access to once you reach that area. And uh, she's going to be the easier one to go ahead and level up. But if you end up getting Lanasa, she's also going to be very good. The second hero that you're going to want to go ahead and focus on here is going to be uh, Krusa. All the way down here in the Karboon, um hunt. He is going to be able to give you some Vulcanite ingots. Uh, he is a strong versus Outlaw hero. Also not going to be good for Mirafen, but he is going to be great in White Peak. Uh, level him up all the way up to level 25 and he is going to be able to take care of any outlaws you end up encountering there. Uh, next up, what weapons should you be focusing on once you enter Mirafen? So as you can see here, uh, we are going to have uh, golems, demons, and cults uh, that you're going to be experiencing here in Mirafen. Um, I definitely suggest you to focus on a golem weapon. Uh, since there aren't aren't many um, good golem heroes, the only golem heroes that you're gonna have 100% uh, access to is gonna be Tristan and Zoe, the last two um, hero hunts from Highguard. They're not gonna really do a, you a whole lot. Uh, they are both uh, healers and damagers, so you really want to have something that's gonna deal a lot of damage uh, for Marifan here. So I definitely suggest you focusing on a golem weapon since you're going to want to go ahead and use Titania uh, as your healer and you can go ahead and pair her up with somebody else like maybe Tristan if you really want or um, another like damage dealer like Anara or Wormwood. So uh, the second weapon that you definitely want to go ahead and focus on as well is going to be a demon weapon. Um, the reason why I say demon and not cult is because when once you reach the realm of fire you're also going to be dealing with a lot of demons so if you end up getting a really good demon weapon maybe a blue maybe a legendary uh, demon weapon this is a very good time to go ahead and start building that weapon up um, and also the cold side of uh, Marifan you should be able to go ahead and get through as long as you have a pretty decent um, demon weapon on hand so starting off right over here in Marifan, let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. All right, right here. The very first um, town that you're going to unlock, so right after the very first conquest, is going to be Wickfen. So once you reach in here, this is going to be where the first alchemist area for uh, Marifan is going to be in. And from here, I suggest you to only get the improved elixir of rage. Uh, getting that rage sooner rather than later is going to be very good in certain uh, conquests here. So that is the only thing I suggest you buying from there. I don't suggest you buying anything from the weaponry or uh, the alchemist area. The side, uh, the side trail right here on the right side uh, is going to be able to give you over to the Rokara hunt. Um, and if you continue it, it's going to be able to unlock you a gem mine. Now, the next side uh, side trail is going to be for Zalam. Not too much there. And then the next uh, concourse is going to unlock two side trails. So the one on the right is going to be for the Enlightened Library. It is going to be a feature that's going to be coming up soon. Um, right now, the rumors are that 
is going to be kind of like a set bonus for your heroes. So if you have like, let's say three or four uh, cult heroes leveled up to like level 20, you get like an extra 10% power or something like that. But right now those are just rumors. On the left side, you're going to be able to unlock the shrine of heroes for Mirafin. Uh, this specific shrine is going to be able to give you uh, 1,440 uh, hero experience along with that extra chance of uh, an extra reward. Uh, that is going to be for the 15 minute favor duration. Uh, the next ones are going to be right here. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of scroll through them. You can go ahead and see them. And if you continue that same side trail, you're going to go ahead and unlock the hunt for Blaine. Uh, he's also going to give you some Vulcanite ingots, and this is going to be the first hunt that gives you those Vulcanite ingots. Uh, these are the materials you're going to be using to level up your weapon uh, from level 21 to level 30. Now on the next side trail is going to unlock you the Onslaught Dungeon. Right here, this is a dungeon filled with multiple floors. Um, all of these fights are going to be static, so they are never going to really change. Um, all the monsters, the bosses are going to be the same, and they're going to be able to have the same little minions around them. Um, once you first reach it, don't worry, don't worry too much about it, because these are very hard to beat. Uh, once you finish Mirafin, you might be able to beat uh, maybe floor one and floor two. But um, even right now, myself, I am in the middle of uh, Realm of Fire, and I'm only getting up to like floor six or seven. Okay, uh, next side trail is going to actually then unlock you um, Tara, the hero I was telling you to focus on. Um, she's going to be right there, also with Tellurian ingots. Next side trail is going to unlock two of them. This one's going to be for Fahari and the Hunt Master. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what the rewards are for this Hunt Master and for the Expert. And the next um, side trail is going to give you a uh, Tellurian ingot mine as well as the hunt for, um, for Sarah. Then you're going to go ahead and then unlock the next town, Lake and Fen. There's going to be a nice bazaar there, but nothing too much to look at there. But it is going to go ahead and unlock you the uh, monster cave. So same thing as the previous monster cave over in high guard, uh, you're going to be able to come in, defeat this boss for a certain amount of time for a one time bonus and move up to three different difficulties. In the shop though, there is going to be a little bit of a difference. It is going to give you um, more forging stones that you can go ahead and purchase like dagas and lagas. Um, both of these are really, really hard to get. So I definitely suggest to save up your crimson souls for these uh, for these tones. Uh, I don't recommend you getting the shards for Lanaza here, even though she is going to be a little bit better than Tara, as I said uh, before, because she is very, very expensive. You're going to need 50 uh, shards for her and at 375 Crimson Souls per five shards, you're going to be here an eternity before you even get the Lanaza. Alrighty, uh, so next hunt is going to be right over here. This can be for Cruza. Um, just like I said before, go ahead and try to focus him. Uh, he is going to give you some Volcanite ingots. The next side trail is going to go ahead and actually unlock you uh, a fine, I'm sorry, a Volcanite ingot mine. And the next um, side trail is going to go ahead and unlock you Bobrith. So, once you go ahead and finish that last conquest right there, um, you've completed the swamps of, uh, of Mirafin. So, congratulations. It's now time to go ahead and go over to White Peak. So, for just like same as Mirafin here, let's go ahead and go over the hunts first. So, what hunts you should be focusing on once you reach White Peak. Sincerely, you're not going to be focusing on pretty much any of these hunts. Um, all these heroes are great, but you're not you've already reached you already um, Have access to the heroes you're gonna need for the rest of the game So you're not gonna really need to worry too much about these heroes here um, There are plenty that are gonna give you some fine Tellurian and fine Vulcanites uh, If you really want to go ahead and focus on any one of these I definitely suggest to focus on Grim 
uh, which is going to be right over here. He is going to be able to give you some fine Tellurian. I'm sorry, some fine Vulcanite. Um, so he is going to be the cheapest uh, hunt to do in order to get that material. And uh, over at 43 stamina per time you do the hunt. Okay. And uh, what weapons you should be focusing on here. So um, you should have been focusing on, on a troll weapon and an outlaw weapon. So for White Peak, in the beginning of White Peaks here, you're gonna first see uh, only beast monsters. This your very first conquest is only gonna have beasts in there, but uh, don't fret, don't try to go ahead and start leveling up a beast weapon out of nowhere. You're not gonna need to. Stick to an outlaw weapon and level it up as much as you can up to your level. So once you go ahead and have the outlaw weapon done. Um, you're gonna be able to go ahead and clear out most of these uh, beasts fairly quickly um, You are gonna see some new ones and these ones are gonna give you a lot a lot of problems uh, It's gonna be the blight hound and the ice drake. Uh, let me see if I can go ahead and find an ice drake real quick here Right here and an ice drake so both of these are gonna be new units you've never seen before uh, they are going to be able to give you and inflict you freeze for the ice drake and it's going to be i believe it's exposed for yep exposed for the blight hound there the the blight hound is going to attack you twice in one turn and uh the ice drake is going to be able to charge their freeze ability in one turn so i definitely suggest you to focus up on the ice drake and then the blight hound because the blight hound is going to take two um two turns two turns to go ahead and uh and charge their ability to give you the expose and the hit for a lot of damage now once you go ahead and get through that uh, you're gonna see the very first um, town in white peak with the alchemist in a brand new shop so if you go over to the brand new shop right here um, it's actually gonna be the metal workshop and you're gonna be able to exchange your materials here you may want to go ahead and exchange these materials especially because at this point you might have thousands of uh, of Vulcanite bits and Vulcanite um, and Tellurian bits lying around. You're like, oh, you know what? A thousand gold, not too bad, but don't do it. This is extremely overpriced. Uh, I highly suggest not to do it at all um, because you're going to really want to go ahead and keep those there. It's just too much gold to be spending there. You might as well spend it on potions that you're actually going to want and then just spend your stamina on getting those materials. Now, for uh, for the alchemist here, I only suggest you buying the greater potion of protection for the time being. They are really good, and they're gonna help you out quite a lot there, uh, especially uh, especially on the troll bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and show you in just a little bit, which is the biggest roadblock here in White Peak. So, greater potion of protection and the improved um, elixir of rage from the previous uh, area. As you go through right around here where the side uh, side trail is, um, maybe the conquest right after it, you're gonna find a conquest where there is gonna be a big yeti right in front of you, and there's gonna be two spirits uh, in the back, which are gonna be these spirits right here. Let me see if I can find one real quick, so I can go ahead and just show you right here. These storm spirits these storm spirits charge their ability also in one turn and they're gonna be able to cause you stun uh, they are outlaws and this is why you want cruza in your team um, they're gonna be able to stun you they're gonna put you in a complete stun lock and you're not gonna want to go ahead and get stuck in one, in one of those you're gonna completely lose the turn there or completely lose the fight there Okay, so the next uh, hunt right here is going to be for Neko, some uh, Vulcanite ingots. And if you go through this side trail right here, you're going to find the hunt for uh, Cladis and the next Shrine of Heroes. This, um, this shrine is going to give you 4,320 hero experience there per 15 minute favor. And your heroes are going to need to be at the very least level 20. Moving on, it's gonna be the hunt for Grim right over here. 
the next side draw is gonna be for uh, Pentatonix. I don't think you should get him. He's kind of trash. And this is gonna be the Huntmaster for White Peak. This is gonna be all of the um, resources for this hunt for this Huntmaster. And these are gonna be the ones for the Epic. Back to the main story right here. The next side draw is gonna give you access to the hunt of Ulfred. And this right here in High Ridge, this is where you're gonna meet that big troll boss. Um, so you would have not find found any trolls before this uh, until you reach re until you reach High Ridge right here. Um, they're all gonna be trolls. They all do a bunch of damage, and they all take a bunch of damage. So they're very tanky, very strong, um, and you are gonna want to have that Tara already leveled up to level 30. And your troll weapon, you might want it up to like level 35 or so. Um, once you get your Tara and your and your troll weapon and you have Titania with you, you're also going to want some uh, potions of protection and some improved elixir of rage. Um, so you can go ahead and complete this. The way that you can go ahead and complete this, uh, this big boss right over here is going to be once you reach, there's going to be two turns or two rounds. In the first round, you're gonna want to go ahead and focus up on the person on, the, on your right, and then you're gonna want to go ahead and finish off the person on the left. Now, while you're doing this, you want to go ahead and make sure that you build up enough rage so that you have a full rage once you enter the second round. Once you enter the second round, you want to go ahead and immediately use Tara's rage. Then you want to go ahead and use an improved elixir of rage. Then you want to go ahead and use Tara's rage again followed by a protection potion that's going to be your very first turn in the second round on your second turn you're going to want to use another elixir of rage and rage with tara for a third time once you rage with tara for a third time right here you should have cleared out the people in the back and at least one person from the front the reason why you're doing this is because in the back row there are two troll archers these archers are gonna be able to hit you for almost a quarter of your health every time they hit you so in two turns they're gonna be able to go ahead and completely destroy you since they go through armor um, but once you go ahead and finish that off you should be able to go ahead and clear up the next um, the next little bit of that of that boss fight with no problem you're also going to be able to unlock the monster cave very soon afterwards. This is where Rec, um, Kren Rockja is going to be at. And the shop. The shop is going to be able to give you a little bit more of those forge stones, including Nautis and Barkana. And that's going to be it for that monster shop. The next side quest or the next side trail is going to give you access to Ursula. You can go ahead and start focusing on her if you would like and don't have any other demon heroes but there is going to be a better uh, hero um, demon hero uh, when you start on realm of fire before you actually need any demon heroes the next side trail is going to give you a mine for fine vulcanite and for fine tellurian as well as the hunt for uh, nijuro the next side trail is going to give you that gold mine right there and the very next one after that is going to be the um, the hunt for Rhyanon. You are going to still want to prefer Wormwood over her in my personal opinion. But right here all the way at the end is going to be the big Rage Knight fight right here. Um, just come in with your best layout. This can be like any other Rage Knight battle that you have done before. Um, just go in with Titania and your best hero that you have at the time. Maybe that's Tara. Maybe that is Wormwood. Maybe that is um, Cruza or whoever it is. Go ahead and go in with your best setup, your best gauntlet, and uh, some decent potions. Maybe some rage potions, maybe some protection potions, and you will do just fine. You will get be able to go ahead and get through it, and you will have cleared White Peaks. If you have done that, congratulations. You are now in the Realm of Fire. This is going to be the very next guide that I'm going to be doing. It's only going to focus on Realm of Fire. It is going to take a little bit of time because I am still in Realm of Fire. 
as you can see right here i am entering the infernalis this is very the very first conquest i'm gonna start seeing uh demons but aside from that guys i hope you guys learned something today if you did please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you didn't please go ahead and let me know what i can do better down in the comments below and if you haven't please go ahead and join the official knighthood discord i'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that in the description below aside from that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and see ya Whoa.